Hey Planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. Today we are saving. It is week 43 of our savings challenge update and we are going to be um, doing our weekly savings plus pulling our numbers for November. So without further ado, Let's jump right in. I am going to continue to skip the 52-week challenge, the rainy day, and the penny savings challenge. I do not have um, any $5 bills this week. I just checked my bank account for the zero out savings challenge. And surprise, surprise, because when I looked this morning... Um, it did not reflect what it reflected when I looked this evening. Um, so I got paid today, even though payday is Monday. Um, it's Friday. And so I got paid today. So I got paid early, which is awesome because I can do all the things now. I can, um, <laughs> go to the bank tomorrow, Saturday. I can do all my budget videos this weekend and um, not have to wait until Monday. I can get my cash envelopes good to go. I can close out everything. Like it makes it so much easier when it falls on a weekend. So yay for that. It was not there this morning, but so glad that I checked this evening and it was. So for the zero out challenge, we are $9.69. And that goes to my emergency fund. So $9.69 added to the $264.64 that we have year to date brings us to $274.33 for the zero out savings challenge. Um, not bad for not quite a year, um, just under $300 just... Um, you know, rounding up basically and saving that change. So that is where we're at on the zero out savings challenge. For the budget mom savings challenge, we are doing the save your age challenge. And um, we are doing days. I am 16,945 days old. And that comes to 25 So we are going to save $25 for the Budget Mom Savings Challenge. That goes to my home fund. And since we are, that was the last week, we're going to add these up and see what we saved this month for the Budget Mom Savings Challenge. So we have 22 27, 20, and 25. So that was a total of $94 saved this month for the Budget Mom Savings Challenge. All right. Um, let's, let's see. I am going to skip to pulling numbers and then come back because depending on what numbers we pull, because last, last week we pulled 78 and that just messed up my whole life. Um, <laughs> depending on what numbers we pull, we'll decide which other savings challenges we're going to do or not do. Now, I am going to pull one number for October and then the rest are going to be for November. So let me... Let me catch up in my book here and see where we're at. So I don't think. We're not that far behind. So we're, we're on week 43. And so we should have two numbers pulled for week 43. So um, we, we are actually doing pretty good. Um, in November, we have four weeks, so we're going to try to pull eight numbers for November, but we'll see just 
depending on what the dollar amount is. Okay, so now that I have an idea of where we're at, our numbers are in this bag here. And let's see what we get. So our first number is 84. We're going to put that towards um, November. These are all no maybe November's numbers. Okay, so I have, I think, 96. But let me look back to see if we've already done 96 or if we've done 69. We've done 69, so that is going to be a 96. We may not be pulling eight numbers for November. 77, 72, that brings us to 329, so... one more. So we're going to be short two numbers, which is okay. Okay, so this is going to be for November, 376. Um, so I said I wanted to pull... I can't write and talk at the same time. I said I wanted to pull eight. I'm only going to pull six. And... Um, Then I have four weeks in November where I can at least do two of them to catch up with the eight. And that will keep us um, in the same, like, up to date. Um, and then let me put one more number. So 48, that's going to be our number for October. And then that will bring... the October total to 350 just in 100 envelope numbers. Okay, so if I keep this straight in my head. So 376 72 77 84 96 8 and 39 72 77 84 96 8 and 39. Okay, so 376. Um I think I'll do Savopoly. So let me put these numbers away. And we'll update our book later on. Okay, so Savopoly. I've already hit my goal this month, so my goal was to save $500 this month, and we, before we even started this week, we were at $546, so I'm not trying to have a super high savings month and blow that number out the water. Let me take a look at save off. We're getting down to the end of the year, and it is time to set up our 2023 budget binder. Here is my Savopoly tracker. Okay, here we go. All right, 
So we are currently right here. And we're gonna roll our dice. And that is five. So one, two, three, four, five, save thirty dollars. So we're gonna move that there. And all right, so that is what we're gonna do. We're not gonna do twenty-two and twenty twenty-two this week. So we are saving this week thirty and twenty-five, nine sixty-nine and forty-eight, which is Saveopoly, The Budget Mom, Zero Out, and One Hundred Envelope Number. So total this week is one twelve sixty nine, and when we add the five forty six twenty six that we've already saved this month, we come out to six fifty eight ninety five for. October and then um, so that will be our grand total of our savings for the month of October 658 and 95 cents and then the 376 this is going to go towards November this is the hundred envelope pulls for the month of November so that is not included in our October number because it's part of our November paycheck um, so hopefully that makes sense let me know if you are saving. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next week for week 44. Bye.